Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a few days back I went to Andaman and I have vlogged a bit over there. I have already shared part 1 of that vlog and shared everything that we did in Port Player. But in the meantime, before I post the part 2, I thought I will share a little haul video with you and show you everything that I got from Andaman. I hope you will like this tiny haul of mine and also get a little idea about shopping in Andaman. Now our tour was cut short a little bit due to the rise of Omicron cases. They brought out a new circular which basically restricted us from doing any kind of tourist activities like the beaches were closed, no water activities were allowed, the shops were shut down. So we came back home three days before. but. Luckily this time I did the shopping on the second day which is very unusual like usually I do the shopping on the last day and usually I don't shop a lot also but this is the first time that I was traveling after getting married so I wanted to get a few things for my friends and family. So I did all the shopping from Sagarika. This is like the state government shop in Andaman. And if you ever travel there, I will recommend like buy everything from this shop because like all the other shops, I don't know for what crazy reason, they charge you like 10 times more. And this place has everything, like everything that you need and everything is very affordable and uh, they also give you a proper bill so um, in andaman you are not supposed to take any coral any kind of shell or conch from the beach like that is a part of the ecosystem and you are not supposed to disturb that and if you buy it from this shop you will get the proper bill because your luggage get scanned in the um, in the airport and if they kind of they, if they kind of detect what is inside your bag and if you have those corals and anything they will ask you for the bill and if you cannot show that they can fine you they can throw you into the prison because it is criminal offense so whatever you buy buy from this shop and it is extremely eco-friendly like you won't find any kind of plastic packaging over there they will give everything in paper bag and they will wrap everything in paper so i bought a lot of delicate items and everything was wrapped perfectly and nothing is damaged so let me show you everything that i got from there first of all there are these two trays so these are small trays that i got and uh, yeah they have a very nice polish on it and the finishing is also perfect like you can use it to serve just one cup of coffee or you can keep it as a centerpiece on your table and just keep some kind of candle on it or some showpiece anything like that and wooden work is really nice in andaman and yeah these two are really beautiful Next I got these two boxes. So these are apple shaped boxes with these tight lids. So I think I will place them on my dresser and just keep some earrings and rings that I would like to use every day because if I have them on the dresser maybe I will end up using them more often than usual and again the finishing is very nice. So yeah I really love them. The next items are very interesting so I got these two cups so these are made from coconut shell this is like the outer shell of the coconut and then there is another piece used to make this and this so I asked them if I can use it to have tea and coffee and they said I can these are not polished uh, there were also the polished versions but I preferred this one it looked better trust me and they said that yes I can have liquids in it I can uh, just wash it with some liquid soap or like uh, soda powder and then uh, just dry it and it will be fine honestly I am still not sure about it but I will give it a try but it looked amazing and having coffee out of it I think it will be a very nice experience and these were just for 90 rupees which is like a still price um, it's very exotic looking actually so I got two of this like 
and then I also got these bowls so again these are made of coconut shell and I got three of them and all of them are for 90 rupees so they come in different shape because the shells are like not uniform so you can just check the collection and pick whatever size you need um, I got them in three different sizes and um, I will keep one for myself and I will give two of them to my mom Next I have a showpiece item so I got this one this is a hut for Nicobari people there is an anthropological museum in Port Blair you can visit it to see the kind of hut and everything but you are not allowed to take pictures from there so basically that lifestyle and life is so far away from us and I just wanted to bring back a, one small memory so that I can see it and you know just remember that there are still people in the world who are staying in places like this and i got a lot of jewelry items from there for my friends and family because i knew they will love them these are things that you don't usually find over here and they're so cheap and so you know like they look very unique and different so I got a number of these um, lockets I hope you're being able to see them so these are just lockets made out of um, like shells and these are single lockets and they're priced at like 34 rupees which is again a still deal and then I also got a few sets of like a neck piece and earring I also got a hair clip like this it looks pretty amazing and I cannot wait to style this one and I got two of these wooden bangles and lastly I also bought some spices from there so there is a small stall called Vatika right beside Sagrika and Andaman has some really good spice gardens and the farmers directly place their products in Vatika and you can buy it from there uh, you have to purchase by cash you cannot pay by card and they do not provide you with any kind of packaging so you have to put it in your like whatever carry bag that you have and uh, like the all the packets are of same size you have to pick them and it's really affordable like I think all the spices were like 100 grams were available for 80 rupees which is very cheap and 100 grams of paper is like a lot so I got a pack of paper I got a pack of coves and one pack of cinnamon and that is it I was actually planning to buy some more spices on the last day but sadly that did not happen and I completely forgot to mention about this book while I was recording the video but I wanted to learn a bit more about that place and got this book I have recently started reading it it's a really nice book so that is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this whole video and part two of andaman vlog is coming very soon along with a lot of other videos many exciting videos are lined up so if you don't want to miss them make sure that you hit the subscribe button and i will be back with the next video super soon till then take care and bye